So FMD or fibromuscular dysplasia is a condition that primarily affects women, about 95% of all patients with this are women. And it causes either a narrowing in the artery or it causes the artery to look like a string of beads. In other words, most arteries are straight. In FMD, the arteries have areas of dilation and areas of narrowing, and they look like a string of pearls or a string of beads. Depending on where that it's located, if it's located in the artery to the kidney, the patient has high blood pressure. If it's in the artery that supplies the brain, either the carotid or vertebral artery, the patients may have what's called pulsatile tinnitus or a swooshing or whooshing sound in their ear, migraine headaches, or at its worst, the patients may have a stroke. Patients with fibromuscular dysplasia have about a 40% chance of having an aneurysm, that's an enlargement of a blood vessel, or a dissection, that's a tear in the blood vessel, in one of the blood vessels in their body because this is one condition where there is a significant delay from their first symptom to diagnosis. Let me give you an example. There are two major types of fibromuscular dysplasia. The most common type is the string of beads type, and we call that multifocal FMD. The most common symptom is high blood pressure. In a study from the group in Paris, there's a nine-year delay from the onset of high blood pressure until FMD is diagnosed, on the average. A less common form of FMD is called focal FMD. That's one single area of narrowing of an artery. This occurs in younger women, age 25 to 30, and the average delay from the first symptom, high blood pressure, to diagnosis is four years. Multiple specialists can see these patients internal medicine, family medicine, neurology, cardiology, vascular surgery, and it all depends on how the patient presents. So if the patient presents with a dissection or a tear in the carotid artery, they may present to either a vascular specialist such as myself or to a neurologist, a neurovascular specialist. If the patient presents with high blood pressure, they may present to any of the specialists. So it all depends on what their symptoms are. And many of the symptoms, for example, the symptom of pulsatile tinnitus, that's that swooshing or whooshing sound. What the patient hears is something like this. They often don't tell the doctor about it. You have to specifically ask the patient, do you have swooshing or whooshing in your ear? And they'll say, yeah, I do. I, I thought that was normal. I've had that for a long time. Another presentation of FMD might be a heart attack in a young woman. That's often due to SCAD or spontaneous coronary artery dissection. And somewhere around 70% of patients with SCAD have fibromuscular dysplasia.